Hello everyone. As we get started, I want to remind you that encountering challenges while working on electronic projects is perfectly normal. If you find yourself struggling at any stage, don't hesitate to ask for help. I'm here and more than happy to support you through any difficulties you might face. So, let's get started. In this video, we will discuss a very simple yet effective battery charger circuit, which will charge your battery at a relatively faster rate than the normal charging methods. This battery charger circuit can be used for fast charging of all types of batteries. However, make sure to adjust the current and the voltage of the charger according to the specifications of your battery. That said, this fast charger circuit employs a step charging process and therefore is specifically suitable for lead acid batteries and SMF batteries, since these batteries strictly require a step charging method for implementing the fast charging effect. Lithium ion batteries have no such restrictions and can be quickly charged directly through a relatively high current input, and therefore do not strictly depend on step charging. Now, let's understand how the circuit is designed to work. It is basically a two-step battery charger circuit, which will allow an initial high current charging for a lead-acid battery until the battery voltage has reached around 75% of its full charge level, wherein the circuit will switch the current to a lower level and continue the charging process until the battery attains the full charge level. Here. The circuit is configured for fast charging of a 12-volt lead-acid battery. The NPN transistors works like a voltage sensor. The Zener diode at the base decides at what voltage threshold the transistor needs to switch on. Here, the Zener diode is fixed at a 13.5-volt level, which means that the transistor will turn on when the battery has charged up to the 13.5-volt level. When the transistor turns on, the connected relay also turns on, causing its contacts to shift from its initial NC contact to its NO contact. Initially, while the voltage level of the battery is below the 13.5 volt changeover threshold, the battery is allowed to charge with a relatively high current through the NC contacts of the relay. With this initial high current, the battery starts charging at a faster rate and quickly reaches the 13.5 volt level, wherein the transistor switches on and causes the relay to change over from its NC contact to its NO contacts. The NO contacts of the relay can be seen configured with a current limiter stage which consists of a high watt resistor, whose value determines the amount of current that needs to be reduced for the last phase of the charging process. The battery now continues to charge, but with a reduced current until finally it reaches its full charge level. Please note that here the full charge level for the 12 volt lead acid battery must be restricted to a maximum of 14 volt, which is around 0.3 volt lower than its actual maximum full charge level of 14.3 volts. This reduced full charge level of 14 volt is intentionally chosen to ensure that the battery never reaches its highest 14.3 volt level, which in turn allows the battery to be connected with the reduced supply current indefinitely without the need of an automatic cutoff mechanism. For a 12-volt lead-acid battery, the initial high current charging may be done by using a maximum current, which could be around 30% of its AH rating. For the current limiting, the above current may be reduced to around 7% of the battery AH rating. The current limiting resistor must be calculated accordingly, using Ohm's law. Remember, the initial charging current, which is selected here as 30% of the battery AH, must be thoroughly examined. If you find your battery warming up significantly with a 30% initial charging rate, you must reduce this level until the warming of the battery reduces to an acceptable level. So, that's it friends. This concludes our explanation of the fast battery charger circuit. If anything about this concept is unclear, or if you have questions, just drop a comment, and I'll get back to you with answers as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.